Disclaimer. This review features a collectible item and it's for adult collectors ages 13 and up only. It is not intended for children. So if you are age 13 or below, please stop watching this video now. Thank you. here and welcome back to a new action figure review on my channel so today I'm continuing on with my mini uh, review series of the alien vs predators um, arcade game style uh, figurines from NECA toys and if you saw my previous review uh, from this mini series I have reviewed the arachnoid um, alien and this time I have here with the chrysalis alien or chrysalis chrysalis um, I'm hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, which is a really interesting and cool looking alien in my opinion. I really really love how it looks because it's just so unique and the whole paint job on it as well. I'm, I mean I'm pretty sure they went with how he looks in the arcade game. I have never uh, like actually seen or uh, or like played the arcade game itself so I'm not sure. And by the way, the arcade game came out in 1994, so a long time ago. I was only like two years old uh, back then, so um, that's why. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to uh, to review this figurine and finally open it up because I'm really cool, curious to see um, how it works. Because it does have like a really cool uh, little feature, which also appears in the arcade game from what I read. Now, uh, the Chrysalis alien is quite a big one, and I can see that it's more, uh, like, muscular than uh, some of the regular aliens, and, of course, the beautiful head uh, sculpt, which is, uh, in some ways, uh, reminds me of the alien queen's head, but it's, uh, you know, much smaller, <laughs> and, um, yeah, it has some uh, awesome uh, features. Now, another heads up, if you are not really... A fan of these um, weird colorings uh, of the of the arcade figurines, which again they kept up with the, how they look in the arcade uh, games. So they have um, more unusual, I guess I could say that unusual uh, coloring of the figurines. NECA did came out uh, with these uh, three aliens in um, like more lifelike, more regular. Uh, like in the movies like uh, colorings of the figurines themselves and you can buy those if you want to uh, add them to your collection I'm just completely fine with having these uh, from the arcade versions because I do like my aliens to have a little more uh, diversity and uh, you know to each their own so with that being said uh, Let's take a closer look at this uh, really cool alien, which is, by the way, uh, it's called Chrysalis because he uh, likes to hide himself, uh, like, all balled up, if that makes any sense, and uh, he does have a tendency to uh, roll towards you, like, curled up in a ball, which is uh, really sounds interesting, in my opinion, and none of the other aliens do that, so... That's why he is um, he is a really uh, unique uh, specimen, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he he also has some other hidden feature which I will uh, talk about and show it to you guys uh, when I unbox him. So let's take a closer look at the box. So here is a close up of him inside the box, and sorry about the glare, guys. You can see my reflection, but it's it is a um, big plastic piece here in the front, so it's uh, no wonder. Uh, it has the, all that glare, but you can kind of see the figurine inside and his, um, let me just call it beautiful head, <laughs> but a really, really cool uh, sculpt, uh, sculpt for sure. Now here we have a picture of the Chrysalis alien and you can kind of see how he looks. Or, says, or they say it's Chrysalis alien and uh, alien versus predator, of course. The whole box has this really nice... Uh, it's like a shiny uh, cardboard, but it's really like uh, gives you that nostalgic feeling uh, and colors of the of the game and overall the old uh, arcade and video games. 
Uh, up here it says Alien vs Predator, Crisis Alien and Ages 17 and up. So this is not a children's toy, it is a uh, collectible uh, item. Uh, my box is a teeny tiny bit crushed, but uh, that's okay since you know I'm a out of the box collector, but I do like to keep my boxes as well. And we have here another picture of the Chrysalis Alien with that beautiful pixelated background from the games. It says Alien vs Predator. And this is the back of the box. And we have again a really nostalgic um, feeling when we see this. Well, the picture itself of the Chrysalis Alien, it is a, a promo picture of the actual figurine. But in the background, as you can see, it's the same pixelated um, arcade game style. Now, I really wish they would have included like the actual picture from the from the game of the Chrysalis because I think that would have been more uh, again nostalgic and a little bit more cooler. But uh, it's okay like this too. And over here we have his uh, life bar, which is pretty cool, and your score and whatnot. So uh, really awesome. Over here it says collect them all, so in this series uh, you uh, were able to get three predators as well. Now, uh, if you know me, you know that I do not uh, collect predators, so um, I do not have those figurines. Here are the aliens, and here are some human characters as well, and I do not collect those either. But those are available if you are interested. And down here... We have a description or a little synopsis, and you can pause and read that if you wanted to. I'm not going to read it out loud to you guys. And last but not least, on this side of the box, we have a um, artwork of the Predator. I think this is actually the like the poster of the game, if I'm correct, of the arcade game. And again, it says Alien vs Predator and the Chrysalis Alien. So yeah, really nice, uh, really cool, uh, kind of vintage style as well for uh, the figurine. Now let me just unbox him and we'll see all the details uh, and uh, that hidden feature that I was talking about. And I'm back and as you can see I have unboxed my Chrysalis uh, alien over here and he is really, really awesome. I really love how he looks, uh, his features, he is really and truly a unique alien. Um, some of his body parts do seem uh, familiar to me, as in I saw them on uh, you know, other aliens, uh, um, like the molds of his body parts, but some of the other uh, pieces he has, I think it's exclusive to this one, or it's, I don't know, I, I have never seen those uh, on any of my other aliens um, from NECA, and I have quite a few, so uh, I'm really impressed with that. And I am also impressed uh, by his, uh, you know, hidden, kind of hidden little feature uh, he has. It is really, really cool. Uh, but one thing that I wanted to mention before I show you guys him up close and uh, the details. Mine has a little defect, unfortunately, again, a little error. And uh, that is that his tail is falling out, uh, unfortunately. And I saw that... Um, it doesn't like go all the way into the socket as it should so that's probably why I don't know what happened over there I'm pretty sure when they were uh, uh, I don't think it's, it's the mold itself it's just on my figurine um, they messed up something when uh, they were making the parts and it's falling out so just a heads up that uh, his tail may, may fall out uh, why I uh, uh, show you guys the, the figurine itself. I'm planning on doing something about it. Most probably just gluing it in uh, And not really worrying about it anymore, but uh, I'll see so that's just a heads up and uh, Now let's take a closer look at the details of the figurine So I'm going to start off by showing you guys a close-up of his head of course because it is the most impressive part on this alien in particular and I really really love how this um, I, could, I guess it could call it like a bone like structure on his head looks because I think it's the most coolest and most amazing part of this uh, alien. It really does remind me of the how the uh, the head looks of uh, like the alien queen's 
head, but of course it is uh, uh, different and I'm pretty sure it's like uh, different in the mold as well. I do not have my alien queen over here at the moment with me, but uh, as far as I can remember. So let's see, as you can see, it is a pretty large piece. It has this really nice, um, kind of like a peanut butter brown, as you can see, and it has some darker uh, coloring to it as well. A huge amount of uh, beautiful details, and I really like this moon-like cresting um, that has on top. Here is a uh, front view. This is how it looks. So if you get like a uh, head bump from this alien, I'm pretty sure it would hurt a lot. But this is how it looks. I think it just, it just really uh, amazes me. I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful mold. Now underneath the head of the alien, it looks uh, similar to what we are uh, used to uh, by now with the aliens. But I really, really love the face and I'm not sure if my camera will focus on that uh, or the mouth of this alien because as you can see it's really uh, interesting we have these uh, little pointy teeth out here in the front and the mouth itself has this really uh, again interesting design because it has a hole as you can see and it is see-through you can see my hand over there and my background and uh, you can see the little inner mouth over there as well. I have never again seen this with other aliens, so I think it's just something really uh, cool and uh, a really good idea as well. I think it, it just adds to the more uh, scary uh, look of this alien. Otherwise, the mold, otherwise the mold itself is is beautiful, and you can kind of see some parts over there too. And that is because of his hidden feature, which I will show you guys in. Uh, just a second. This is how it looks from uh, the bottom. And I will try to show it to you guys how the head looks from the bottom. There we go. I think it just has a great amount of details. I really like it. And his tail is just falling off, so I'm just going to take it off. Uh, now moving down, um, as you can see, his arm so this is a i do think this is like a newer mold or a brand new mold because i have never uh, seen it before it does look similar to the other ones this like muscular uh, structure that it has but i have never seen it before on other aliens and of course the forearm has this awesome and on both sides actually has this awesome uh, bone like structure on it again which is the same uh, kind of peanut butter uh, brown uh, color as the uh, the head has and of course he also has four fingers and uh, in the two in the middle are longer as you can see little claws that also have a brown color to them and this is how it looks from the inside really nice details again again I'm sure if I have seen these uh, hand molds before I probably have I just don't remember it uh, but they are different from the you know the regular warrior aliens and this is how it looks the lower arm part and of course it looks the same on the other side now the chest area does seem uh, quite uh, familiar and it does look like you know, most of the aliens have, and the lower body part as well, with the exoskeleton and uh, whatnot. Uh, but the back, the back of the alien has this again really interesting bone structure, and I'm pretty sure this is like a kind of like a extra piece that they added to a, a existing mold, because uh, as you can see, he does not have those uh, pipe-looking thing things, and um, we haven't seen these larger. Um, kind of reminds me of a of a, uh, a straps of a like a backpack or something um, on him, and I think it's really cool. And again, it gives the alien a more unique look. If like you know the head and uh, all the bone structures weren't enough, now this part uh, on him does seem again familiar, but maybe this lower uh, part where the tail was supposed to go um, does have uh, some different molds added so yeah they really really just uh, gone all the way out with this uh, alien and his molds 
Now the legs again seem familiar, but I have never seen this really interesting, like kind of circly, um, uh, swirly design thing on the top of the the leg or on the thigh. So it's really cool. And uh, the lower leg does seem to look, at least to me, um, does seem to look like how the original warrior has, or it's like really, really close to that. But we'll see, I will do a comparison uh, in just a second after I finish the review of him. And yes, the feet are uh, different. They have these giant claws over here in the back and here in the front too. Really cool in my opinion. And he does have these two little um, um, toes on the sides as well. So the how the, the feet look actually do remind me of uh, how his hands look. So two larger ones, larger fingers and two little ones. That's the same with the feet. And last but not least the tail that actually um, fell out. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was supposed to go all the way in. But on my figurine, that's that's the f uh, for as far as uh, it goes in, about that. So you can see that there's a gap between the figurine and, uh, you know, you can see the peg. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, if I should just, I don't know, trim it down or something, I'm afraid that I will uh, make it even worse. But I will have to... Um, try something because it's not it's not working uh, very well like this I don't like it that it keeps falling out otherwise the tail um, honestly the mold of the tail it's like really beautiful and long and it has this um, giant uh, blade uh, at the end as you can see and it has uh, like that brown color to make it look like it has the bone structure but the whole tail is like really rubbery so that you can um, bend it of course and uh, the mold of the tail, I am pretty sure it's from the dog alien because uh, that alien has this type of blade uh, and uh, you know the, the tail is just, I'm pretty sure it's that the same uh, mold. It's really nice and detailed but it's not a new uh, mold. So um, yeah that's pretty much about it for his looks. Now let's see the articulation on this figurine and uh, of course the hidden feature. So as far as the articulation on this figurine goes, it is really well articulated as we are used to by now with all the, you know, the NECA figurines and the NECA aliens. So you can, of course, move the head from side to side and up and down as well. It moves from the neck part. Now it is a little bit limited as you can see, uh, and especially the head going to the back because it has the huge uh, bone structure. And uh, I will get back to the head in just a second. Um, he has some movement in the upper torso area. I think it's kind of like on a ball joint, but uh, it is kind of limited as you can see, so it does not move a lot. But you can twist and turn it to the sides pretty well, actually. Uh, the pivoting is the one that's uh, kind of limited and the tail is com coming off again. Now the arms of course can move up and down and pretty far to the back too, so it's really nice and well articulated. Uh, he has a double joint in the elbow, as you can see, at least I hope you can see it, there we go. So there is a double joint over here and you can twist and turn it from here as well, I'm pretty sure from down here too, yes. So you can also uh, twist and turn it from both of the of the joints, and of course there is also movement in the hands. You can twist and turn it and move it up and down. It's just a little bit harder on my figurine because um, I just you know recently opened him up and I didn't move him around too much. And there's also a joint in the lower uh, in the um, longer uh, fingers you can move those up and down as well so he can wave <laughs> now moving down to the legs you can of course move those to the back and to the front they do have a wide range of movement i pretty sure you could do like a 90 degrees it's just the arms and whatnot it's in the way now you can of course 
mend him from the knees and they go all the way to the back as you can see there's a double joint over here and from what I saw you can only twist and turn uh, the lower part of the uh, of the leg over from over here the upper joint from the knee so not from the lower one now of course he also has some articulation in the feet uh, if I can somehow move it mine again moves a little bit more harder than usual um, there's a little bit of a pivot and you can of course bend the feet but they don't go they don't have like a wide range of movement maybe to the front like that but to the back uh, you don't really get too much because there is this little part that's like in the way and there's also a movement in these uh, larger claws or larger um, toes with the claws on them and those go up and down as uh, just like he has that with the hands and let me just set him over there and of course <laughs> the tail I'm just going to show it to you guys like this the tail it is a uh, bendable and you can pose it in whichever way uh, you want it to uh, and of course you can uh, twist and turn it around on him when it's uh, you know not uh, falling off now the most coolest uh, feature of this alien is um, a little hidden um, hidden feature or hidden uh, little secret thing and of course by the way you can open his mouth and the little inner mouth does come out and it is pretty long as you can see just like with uh, the other type of aliens but what's most interesting thing about him is that his head or um, I'm just going to call it like a part of his neck does come out and you have to pull a little bit on it to be able to reveal that and it does move a little bit harder but there we go so this is his hidden uh, action his hidden really interesting and at the same time super creepy in my opinion um, feature this part from over here comes out and reveals this horrific a uh, skull-like face that he has and um, yeah it is it is a pure nightmare fuel in my opinion but it is really cool I really like it and it does move a little bit around as you can see so you can kind of pose this neck part if you wanted to um, if my camera would just focus on the face a little bit better there we go so you can see it it's super creepy <laughs> and I really really love it I think it's really just overall a really unique alien and if all, honestly all of the aliens have this type of face underneath that um, the, their head their uh, carapace I'm not sure what to call it then we are in trouble honestly <laughs> so uh, yeah that's the hidden feature and it does move kind of hard and I you have to kind of find a way to push this back in it's not the most easiest thing to do I have to say um, that so uh, I'm going to struggle with it a little bit uh, off camera and I'll come back in just a second to show you guys a comparison with a, a uh, warrior and most probably a, a dog alien as well and here I am to do that comparison I was talking about. Now I brought here my uh, dog alien and my uh, warrior, one of my warriors, the red one. Uh, now honestly I only brought here the dog alien to be able to show you guys that the tail is indeed the same mold. Because otherwise the two aliens are just um, like heaven and earth or something like that because they are just so so different. Each, in each and every part of them so there's no reason to do any comparison because uh, they are just completely completely different in every way it's just uh, their tail and I'm just going to remove it from the stand there we go so yes the tail it is I was right it is the exact same mold as you can see those little um, dot things on the tail itself right to the to the uh, top of the tail it is the same and the same uh, 
blade. Let me just move it. There we go. So yes, it is the exact same mold as you can see. Just curled differently because I don't think I mentioned, but you guys probably already saw that the the chrysalis is um, like this black uh, with a bluish uh, grayish uh, color plus the the peanut butter color that we saw. So yes, uh, the only thing that's the same mold with the with the dog alien is uh, the the tail. And I'm going to put him aside for now. Uh, now with the warrior, I have to say that he is larger, as you can see. Um, then the warrior taller as well more muscular and i'll say more creepier in my opinion as well now of course the head is completely different uh, and these shoulder parts as well and of course as i mentioned before the arms are a complete different one as the lower arms as well and yes the hands are different as well there we go you can see the the fingers. The warrior has only three fingers while uh, the chrysalis has four and um, yeah he does not have those pipe things that I was talking about and the legs if I can move them somehow at the same time and he still just fell off again. Um, so yeah the legs are completely different again as you can see he has larger uh, legs and these um, things on the top are uh, different and uh, honestly the lower part of the legs are similar looking but they are they are not the same mold uh, so I think this uh, the warrior one has um, a little bit of shorter feet if that makes uh, sense or a shorter lower leg part or is it the same length? It may be the same mold. I'm just saying things. No. Um, or maybe yes. <laughs> Sorry guys. It's hard to compare them because. Yes. I do think it is the same mold. So okay. So uh, as far as I can see. Uh, the lower uh, leg parts are the same mold. Yes, it has the same lines on the inside as well. So yes, that's the only uh, feature basically. Yes, you can see the, the lines over there as well. So the lower legs on these are the same mold, but uh, pretty much everything else is different. The feet are different as well, as you can see. And of course the tail it is because he, he's sharing it with the, with the dog alien. So yes, the only... Um, two things that this alien is like has like a, a reused mold of are the lower legs from the warrior alien and um, the tail from uh, the dog alien and uh, maybe some other things you that I didn't notice um, maybe from some other uh, you know more um, unusual aliens you know like the Kenaroma aliens or something like that but um, that's the you know the two more basic aliens that I like to compare them uh, to the the warrior one and the dog one. And that's pretty much about it for this review of the Alien vs Predator Chrysalis Alien. Um, and by the way, I don't think I mentioned it, but I honestly don't think that you can like ball this alien up uh, like he is um, sometimes you know rolling around in the arcade game uh, and you know hiding. Um, I don't think you can do that. I honestly didn't really try, but from the way he's standing, and you know, this 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 alien was designed to be able to stand on his uh, on his uh, legs and not like uh, on his fours, uh, like um, you know the the um, arachnoid one or the dog alien. So I don't think you can do that. But maybe I am wrong. Uh, again, I didn't not, I didn't try it. Uh, so if you did try it and if you have this uh, alien, you can leave a comment down below. Um, if you are able to ball him up or uh, you know what do you think of this alien overall what do you think of his really cool hidden feature which is just I don't know probably one of my favorite uh, features of these aliens um, out of all of them and uh, if you like my review don't forget to give me a thumbs up and you can also subscribe if you want to see uh, you know the upcoming alien um, reviews or other kind of toy and doll uh, 
uh, reviews I do on my channel. I also have a Facebook page. The link will appear down below and you can go ahead and, uh, you know, like my page if you haven't done that yet or um, just comment and share and whatever you want to do over there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!